Well, 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 I've been saying for days, haven't I? How can the powers that be, those in Downing Street, expect us to toe the line, expect us to obey the rules when they have parties in their houses at a time when they're telling us to stay at home, protect the NHS and save lives? I was sure that somewhere, somehow, something would pop out that would work and justify exactly what I said. Well, guess what? It has. How do everyone? Welcome back to the channel for a Saturday. Hope you're doing all right. I certainly am. Day's not too bad and Christmas is getting very near. I hope your preparations are going well and you're getting on with it as you should and not worrying too much about what they're doing and what they're saying with their plans A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, J. Yes, enough of that. Well, we have a problem, don't we? We have them, Mr. Boris Johnson, Mr. Mophead himself, telling us, along with his Doctors of Doom, that we are going to do this, that and the other. And if we don't, if we don't toe the line, we will be fined, we will be punished, we will be shut down, and police will come round to the subway and various other places and arrest us if we don't wear a muzzle. If this happens, we get fined inevitably, and time after time after time, people take these fines to court, and they're found unenforceable, thrown out, and not a single one gets paid. Isn't that wonderful? Well, I found something very interesting today as well. Meet this guy. This gentleman is called Stephen Todd. Mr. Todd owns a gym in Preston, Lancashire, called Reps. And during lockdown, when he was supposed to be closed, he was caught open and trading no less than 15 times. He's been to court on more than one occasion, and in total he's been fined £30,000 for the privilege, trying to keep open and make his business survive. He was ordered to shut by the courts, by the way, and issued a closure order, so I assume he had to comply. Well, on hearing about these parties that happened in Downing Street last year, he's decided he's not going to pay a penny, and I can't say I blame him. I'm hoping now that he finds a way of going to the Court of Appeal or wherever else he has to go and get this thrown out. I'm hoping that anybody else that's in this situation goes to the Court of Appeal or anywhere else they need to go and get this thrown out. Because as Mr. Todd himself says, we can't have a situation where it's a two-tier two society, one rule for them and one rule for us. And look where it's headed. Not great, is it really? Let me know what you think in the comments below. I, for one, am not surprised in the slightest. Toodaloo!